Here's how you can check if you're good at something or if you're shit at something. People ask me this all the time. Aryan, can you check my portfolio? Can you check my work? I want to know if I'm ready to start looking for clients. Am I good enough? Usually, if you got to ask me this, the answer is no. You got to get your shit together because if you actually were really good, you would probably know it. Okay, but if you really can't figure it out, here's a little a little analysis you can perform on your work to find out if you're any good or if you're shit. Okay, I was just walking around town and I saw this poster, okay? And they got these little fucking perfume bottles all over town now, Galileo or whatever the fuck. And I took a picture of it, and this is what you should do if you're walking around. Pay attention to what's around you. If you're doing, archi- if you're doing product visualization, look at product visualization works around town, on the bus station, on the fucking building, on the television. If you're doing architectural visualization, go to the internet, type in architectural visualization studio in your city or in your country, and check their works. Okay, and now look at your work or try to recreate what they did so you can try and compare your skill to their skill. All right. If your work looks like theirs are better, there's your fucking answer. You're good. If your work looks shittier than theirs, then you got you got to get your shit together. Okay. so now the next question is, how do you do this? How do you get to the level where, you know, you can make something that they got on the poster or, you know, this is the top of the game. Okay. how can you do this stuff that the people at the top of the industry are doing? Because somebody paid this guy to make this product visualization poster so they can put it all over town okay here's what you do you take your work let's say you try to recreate that fucking poster you look at your work you look at their work okay and you've got these things called eyes okay i don't gotta tell you this you most for the most part you can figure this shit out yourself you look at your work you look at their work you take a pen you take a piece of paper and you write down the differences that you see between these two pictures a 10 year old child can probably do this a five-year-old child can probably do this my grandfather can probably do this, okay? And you make a list of all the little differences. For example, he's got pretty reflections. He's got a nice gradient in the background. His color scheme looks nicer. The text on his fucking poster looks better than mine. Okay, make a list of all those things and change them. Literally copy exactly what they're doing and you're gonna be able to figure it out for the most part. If you can't figure it out, the first thing you should do is remember that you have this thing in your pocket, which has literally all the information that humanity has ever produced available right now. Within five seconds, you can Google anything. There's a million different fucking tutorials, forums and all this shit. You can find any answer. You can find any tutorial for anything. If you still can't figure it out, if you're trying to make your perfume bottle, you can't find a fucking tutorial for the water underneath or something like you have in this poster. If you really tried looking for it, now you can go and reach out to somebody and ask for help or maybe go post on a forum or you can send me a message and I can help you because for the most part, people come and ask me questions when they, they've clearly made no fucking effort to try and find the answer themselves. And now I'm supposed to write paragraphs to you to give you some feedback when I can literally just Google it for you and the answer is right there, but you didn't think to fucking Google it. So for the most part, just use your common sense, use your fucking eyes, compare your shit to somebody else's, try to look at people who have what you want. And instead of being jealous, instead of hating on them, instead of having all your confidence drained out of you, like some people do, they see me doing something, I don't know. Oh, this guy's so good, I can never reach this level. And then he quits and he goes to play fucking video. Well, how do you think I got this good? What, I got four arms? We got six eyes. What if you don't have uh, fucking fingers? Even if you don't have fingers, you can probably use chat GPT or some other AI to control the computer for you. Well, what's the difference between me and you? We're both human fucking beings, okay? I'm doing something different from what you're doing. You got to identify what that is and you got to learn that and you got to apply that to your work. And that's how you get fucking good.